Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we're going to take an issue, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your sixth house, this could be for you. Uh, once again, thank you for the continued support in whatever format it comes, liking, sharing, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It's the easiest and fastest way to grow the channel. Very much appreciated. Thank you to Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended, buy me a coffee, donations. It allows me to continue doing this for you guys. Uh, cross watchers, you're more than welcome. All the information's in the description box. And that's it. Okay. There go. What's going on with you guys? I'm hearing Black Street. No diggity. No diggity. No doubt. Hmm. Interesting. We have the Prince of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Um, so you might have been doubting maybe feelings or something like that, doubting something coming in there. Knight of Cups can be an offering of some kind. Um, no doubt, no diggity, all right? What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. Okay. Interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Moon, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Empress, the Queen of Swords, King of Discs, Nine of Swords, Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, there could be... I'm going to say your intuition's on point about something. I don't know what it's about. This could involve other people because we've got a prince, a queen and a princess. Um, and pay attention to your, um, to your intuition here. You, what we're aware of is the Seven of Swords. Uh, Seven of Swords in this deck is futility. Uh, this is kind of like banging your head against a brick wall with something. What we're not aware of is the Wheel of Fortune. There's something that is repeating. It's a repeating cycle. Um, I don't know what it is. It could be lies, deceit. Seven of Swords is, is a card of lies and deceit. Uh, it is the moon in Aquarius. So this is where the High Priestess sees the star. Uh, the High Priestess sees everything. All secrets, everything. And something seems to be on a repeating measure here. Virgo and I kind of feel like you intuitively sense something or know something and it's like you're walking into a room and you're reading the room you immediately know who's who you immediately know what energy is worthy of your time and space and what energy isn't I think there's a lot that's going on here you have a you have a feeling about something and you need to trust that feeling like no diggity, no doubt. Um, in the recent past, we have the five of discs. This is a card of worry. This is a card of um, low vibrational energies. This could be a situation where the more worry that you're putting into a, uh, to something, the worse it gets. Everything is energy. You know, you put your focus on um, on worry, you will get more to worry about. Um, but I kind of feel like this is something that is, it's, it feels very much your intuition's on point here. Something has happened. It's a repeated cycle. 
and I believe you're going to get an apology about something here, possibly. But until until then, you need to just trust your intuition on something. Um, your advice is the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is a card of just exuding confidence. She is, uh, and don't get caught up in genders. The Queen of the Queen of Wands is a magnet to her desires. She raises a frequency so much that she doesn't need to do anything and the desires come. Um, there is something going on here. There is an energy that you're seeing through. You're seeing through the false side of things. Interestingly, um, I've got the Osho Zen Tarot next to me, no particular reason, um, but I've just noticed it. And now I'm looking at the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords in the Osho Zen is politics. You might be just seeing through the rubbish, seeing through the lies and corruption of everyday society. It could be a, something as simple as that. I say simple, it's a grand thing, but uh, it could be something like that. For others of you, I, I think somebody's mask is slipping. You're seeing something very, very clearly here. And I believe there is going to be a truth surfacing because we've got that ace of swords that breaks through these six so somebody's mask is slipping it may have slipped before with the wheel of fortune here uh, and perhaps you've ignored it and you just remained low vibrational uh, and when i say low vibrational i mean kind of just took the suffering took the unnecessary energy and just it, it does, it lowers It lowers your frequency. There's no two ways about it. So your advice is the net Queen of Wands, keep your energy levels up uh, in whatever format that is. Your outcome is the Princess of Cups. Now the Princess of Cups is a card of maybe an apology. So, <sighs> something is happening this week where I believe words are possibly said or it, it, it kind of reminds me of one of those situations where um it, it well it's actually reminding me of a story from back when my um uh, my brother was married to his, to his ex-wife and she was telling a story and she completely exaggerated the story, said whatever had happened, and my brother just turned to her and said, no, he didn't. And she, she, her response was, oh yeah, I don't know why I said that. And this is what I'm seeing here. This is like seeing somebody's lies, seeing somebody's like mask slip, um, seeing the negative aspect of a shapeshifter, that type of thing. Um, so an interesting week coming up for you, I believe. With the strength and the moon and the seven of wands, it's kind of like there's something getting illuminated here. I said this in the Leo reading. It's a moon card, yet the sun's shining bright in it. It's quite a strange uh, concept. But something is getting illuminated here. And in the Astro Matrix, for some strange reason, Venus retrograde is, is, is being... Uh, the tarot card for it is the Seven of Wands. So this could be Venus slowing things down and you assessing something. Venus rules relationships. Doesn't have to be romantic. But something is, is being highlighted here where you're mm, seeing something. You, your intuition's nudged you for quite some time here because the Princess of Cups is kind of like an awakening of, of, of psychic abilities as well. Uh, but the Seven of Swords with that... Um, um, moon in, in Aquarius, the High Priestess and the Star. I, I think you've let something go a few too many times and now you're thinking, no, not anymore. So let's check out the Ace of Swords, Star and the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is with the Eight of Discs, which is the Sun in Virgo, you guys, and the Queen of Discs. Interesting. I'm not, we haven't got any threes here, but we do have the Deceit card of the Seven of Swords. But the High Priestess and the Queen of Discs can indicate, or, or don't get caught up in genders, but if, if you're going to label it something, it's the other woman. 
Uh, and that doesn't have to be anything cheating as well. It could be just an, another energy. So your intuition's telling you something's not right here. You need to listen to it. Ace of Swords is with the Magician and the Lovers. Interesting. So it is definitely about a connection of some kind. Could be any type of partnership. And the Star card. Star is with the Prince of Swords. That's the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups next to the Five of Cups. Hmm. Whatever this is, a mask is slipping. You are seeing something clearly. You're possibly seeing somebody's lies and deception. And it's... It feels like whatever this is, is, allow, is allowing you to take a step back and look at it from a different purpose or perception. So we've got the Prince of Cups. Prince is the Knight. Princess of Cups is the Page. So if we look at a hierarchy, we go Page, Knight, Queen, King. So the fact that we've got a Knight of Cups as your main and your outcome is the Prince, uh, the Page, we need to take a step back. So somebody's mask has slipped here and it's allowed you to see it from a different perspective and you will be able to take action from that point um again could be anything one-on-ones relationships bosses partners whatever this is um but it's something that's a repeated fashion this is something that's not really changing here with the wheel of fortune okay Virgo, in your extended, we will look at what this deception is, what we know about it. We'll mirror this reading um, and see what we can get. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, keep trusting that intuition. It is on point, Virgo. It will not let you down, okay? We have Moon in Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. Mercury in Taurus. Moon in Sagittarius. Cancer Pisces. Mars in Leo. Taurus Libra. Mars in Gemini. Jupiter in Leo, Saturn in Taurus, Sun in Scorpio, Venus in Aquarius, Venus in Cancer, Sun in Gemini, Saturn in Leo, and we have Aries. We have cups, we have wands, we have discs, we have swords, we have everybody here. Um, all the best. Like I said, trust that intuition. Something slipped. It's becoming very evident. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.